The Las Vegas Raiders have hired an offensive line coach and an offensive coordinator, according to Adam Scheffler. The Raiders hired former Patriots offensive line coach Carmen Brasillo, as well as former wide receivers coach Mick Lombardi to be their offensive coordinator. We're going to get into this, but I think the Raiders did a great job. As you guys remember, a couple days back, I reported that the Raiders had moved on from Tom Cable and that they would likely replace him. Uh, and in my opinion, I think the Raiders did a great job with Carmen Brasillo. Brasillo has been the New England offensive line coach since 2019. Or I should say he's been there since 2019. He really only became the full-time offensive line coach last year. Uh, but the Patriots were ranked as the fifth best run blocking unit. And they did a great job protecting Mac Jones. And that was one of the reasons why Mac Jones was able to get to the Pro Bowl. The offensive line did a great job. And Carmen Brasillo was a big reason why they were able to get it done. Now for the Raiders, obviously we're going to see if he can develop the offensive line that we have. Uh, maybe the Raiders go out and get a right tackle or a left guard. And maybe they move Alex Leatherwood back to right tackle. And we'll talk a little bit about the offensive linemen specifically a little bit later on. But just in terms of the coach, uh, I think this was a good hire. I reached out to a couple of players that have played under Brasillo and they have some great things to say about him. Uh, they say he's a great dude. Uh, he's done a good job and obviously taking over the Patriots job last year uh, the Patriots did get rid of their coach uh, specifically because he wasn't vaccinated at, at least that's kind of what's out there uh, but Brasillo kind of took over that job because of that reason and in my opinion he did a good enough job that Josh McDaniels wanted to bring him to the Las Vegas Raiders uh, and I think this is a great way to move forward now in terms of the actual players that we have I think the Raiders need to look to upgrade their left guard position uh, more so than their right guard or right tackle because let's, let's be honest uh, when Carmen gets into the building He's going to meet with guys like Alex Sutherwood and really figure out his fit Is he gonna play right guard for the Raiders? Will he be shifted to right tackle? And I think that's gonna be a big question for the Raiders uh, Personally, I think Alex Sutherwood should just stick to right guard I know some people may not like the fact that we took a right guard with the 17th overall pick uh, But I believe when coach Priscillo gets into the building, he's gonna realize really quickly that Leatherwood does a better job at guard than tackle. And that too, I believe Brasillo probably looked at Leatherwood coming out of college as a guard as opposed to a tackle. I know a lot of coaches out there thought those exact things. Um, but I think the Raiders are in a great spot with their offensive line coach. Uh, Tom Cable, in my opinion, really made a wrong decision by keeping Brandon Parker in. I think with Coach Brasillo coming to the Raiders, now you have to decide who's going to be here and who's not. Uh, one of the things that kind of sticks out to me is the fact that Trent Brown is a guy that Brasillo brought in. He's a guy that was with the Raiders in the past. I know some fans don't necessarily like Brown, uh, but even a guy like Jermaine Illuminor, right? Illuminor was with the Patriots and then he came to the Raiders. So could he be a target to play right tackle? Now for the Patriots, he played right tackle. He was their right tackle. Uh, and then obviously he left the New England and he came to the Raiders last season. Uh, so it'll be very interesting what the Raiders do with that right tackle position. Uh, ultimately, do the Raiders draft the right tackle? I don't think so. I think already drafting a guy like Leatherwood, um, I think it would be smart to go out and get a free agent, maybe even pay big for a free agent. Left guard will be a big one. I think we can draft someone at that position. Uh, but just switching the focus a little bit and talking about Mick Lombardi, uh, you know, Lombardi has a, a lot of, uh, he has a lot of ties to the Raiders. In fact, I was reading an article just a little while ago about how Al Davis used to call to talk to his father and Mick used to answer the phone and, and he would pick Al Davis's brain. And, you know, it's very interesting because he's 33 years old uh, and he was an assistant to Jim Harbaugh from 2013 through 2016. Uh, that's about seven years ago. So he was super young at that time. But Jim Harbaugh saw something in Lombardi uh, and he kept him around. And obviously Mick went to the Patriots after the Niners um, and he had a couple other jobs as well. But. He's a young guy that some people say he could be a head coach. He's a candidate to become a head coach in the future. Um, but I do think that he brings some creativity to the Raiders. You know, Mac Jones had so much success last year. And a lot of his success comes from the fact that Josh McDaniels, Mick Lombardi, among some other guys, are able to draw things up. And those are the types of things that I'm excited to see if the Raiders can bring over. I'm excited to see what Josh can do with this team. You know, we already have a really good quarterback. We have some good weapons, Some a, a young up and coming offensive line the second youngest overall team in the entire league uh, let's bring that creativity over and let's see what the raiders can do man i'm pumped up i'm excited let me know what you guys think uh, i plan to break down uh carmen brasillo a little bit deeper 
uh, to kind of look over some of the tape from the New England Patriots and kind of look at their blocking schemes. Um, I do know that uh, we'll primarily be doing a, a power run, right? That'll be kind of what we're all about, that gap of blocking. So it'll be exciting to see. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.